How's it going everyone? It is Andre Williams and over here we talk stocks and we focus on one thing. Always protect your profits. I also got to put in the disclaimer, I'm not a financial advisor and this isn't financial advice. So just know when you do invest, you're doing it at your own risk. So today we're going to be talking about SNDL Sundial Growers. In my previous video, I gave you guys an update and we're going to go over some of those things that I mentioned because they are playing themselves out. But before we get started, of course, we got to go over an agenda. If you're new to this channel, I just want to let you know we have timestamps down below in the description. But if you are a shareholder or you're considering to get into a position, I highly suggest you watch this full entire video. So the first thing we're going to be going over is a technical analysis. Taking a look at the overall price action. We are seeing a lot of volatility. It is starting to pull back and many of you are going to have questions. Should I be going in heavy? Should I be averaging down? Well, you know what? We're going to take a look at the charts. And then we're going to be taking a look at the short interest information. Even though we took a look at it yesterday, believe it or not, there have been some changes. And then when all of that is done, we'll be doing the final thoughts and as well as some more key details. So let's get started. So we're going to do a technical analysis for SNDL Sundial Growers. So let's see how it performed on the day. So ended up closing at 96 cents, being down 2.98%. On the low, it tested 95 cents, then on the high, testing 98 cents. So right away, when we take a look at our chart, we're using the one-year daily chart. If we take a look at the RSI down below, it is right around 49. So just an inch below fair value where we see it at 50. It is above the 200-day, but it is below the 100-day, and it also is below the 21-day EMA. So all things into consideration, like I was saying before in the previous video, they're going to try their best to keep S. NDL below one dollar. It hit a high of 98 cents today, but as of course it ended up getting hit with a lot of selling pressure. So one of the things you want to do, keep in mind, as far as this 96 cent area, or we can call that the 95 cent area to be exact, I want to see if this area actually holds up for tomorrow. But if it does decide to pull back, I'll be looking out over here for that 92 cent level. Will I be trading off of this level? No. But you guys know I will be adding if it gets into that 70 cent range. As far as where we want to see SNDL hold up by the end of Friday, I don't want to see it going below 90 cents to be honest with you guys. But if it ends up closing at 95, that is still something to be appreciative about. Now, looking forward in regards to next week, yes, I'd like to see SNDL get back into that $1 range. But if it does pull back, you guys already know what the strategy is. So now on Fintel, we're going to take a look at the short interest information for SNDL. SNDL. So the short volume ratio is at 25%, and this is taking into consideration the close from yesterday. What does this look like? So out of 162 million shares that were traded, almost 40 million of those shares were actually sold short. As we scroll down on the page, a short shares availability is at 10 million, updated 29 minutes ago, and a short ball free rate is at 1.63%. Taking a look at the history of the short volume ratio, we could definitely see from the 50 15th, it has gone up to 24.61 from 22.37. I can see this continuing and I talked about this in yesterday's video. There's going to be a lot of volatility in this stock, but hey, wait for that pullback opportunity and that 70 cent range and things start looking even more attractive. So for my final thoughts for SNDL Sundial Growers, the fact that it pulled back today was of no surprise. I talked to you guys about the quadruple witching, which is going to be going down tomorrow on Friday. So they're going to do everything they can to keep this stock under $1 so it doesn't have all of those call option contracts finishing in the money. So do not expect this to be over $1 come on Friday. If it does end up happening, if we end up getting some momentum with a bunch of meme stocks, then sure, that can happen. But for the most part, I see them really want to keep this down under a dollar. Another thing to also understand as far as the short interest, it is creeping up. It is getting higher. So what does this mean? Short sellers are looking at SNDL and they're like, yo, this price needs to come down ASAP and I need to make some money off of that while that is happening. So be aware of this because you know what? This does present an opportunity, especially if you believe in the long-term prospects. Many of you have been able to get into this 70 cent range just like myself. So if it does decide to pull back into that area again, you already know this is where we add. If you want to get into a starter position for SNDL, then wait for it to get even 
even lower at the current price of where it's at. Yes, it can pull back even further going into tomorrow. And I just want to make sure you're prepared for that. And you don't need to be unnecessarily overpaying. Another thing to take into consideration, we do have to look forward to seeing if the more act ends up getting passed near the end of this month. If it does end up getting passed, I can see this having an impact on SNDL and as well as a lot of cannabis stocks in the sector. So please keep this in mind. So it doesn't just come down to the fact of, well, you know what, if it's only meme stocks that are running up, there also is that catalyst for SNDL. And of course, if any updates that do bear some significant kind of news. So taking all of this into consideration, make sure that you have a game plan, make sure you have an exit strategy and just know if you're going to be inside of this play, it is a pet stock that comes with a lot of volatility so you got to be able to stomach it and as far as how to manage this inside your portfolio you just make sure that you limit your exposure just make sure penny stocks alone do not take up no more than five to ten percent and maybe three or two percent in some cases hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll look forward to seeing what snbl happens to do tomorrow <laughs>